How to apply for Chartered Quality Professional with the Chartered Quality Institute. Each year over 600 people join the Chartered Quality Institute and joining at Chartered Quality Professional grade demonstrates that you meet the international gold standard of competence. More and more employers are requesting Chartered Quality Professionals on their projects, for example Crossrail. This grade brings recognition as a business partner driving out waste and improving the bottom line. With high levels of support for applicants from our new members team, more than 80% of applicants achieve this grade. The application form is based on the CQI's competency framework. There are five main competence areas, governance, assurance, improvement, leadership and context. And these are the competencies you'll be self-assessing against in the application form. Let's take a look. Here's the application form. If we open it up, you'll see that the CQI defines competence at five levels in both skills and experience and knowledge. On a scale of zero to four, where zero is no awareness or understanding of the topics, and level four denotes having a deep understanding of the topics and a range of knowledge relevant to that competency. This also denotes that the individual can develop and create new knowledge and can apply the knowledge in new situations. Let's have a look at the requirements for each of the five competence areas. For governance assurance improvement, you'll need to demonstrate a minimum self-assessment score of level three in at least one of governance assurance or improvement and a level two in the remaining two areas. For context and leadership, you'll need to demonstrate self-assessment score of a minimum level three in both of these competence areas. Let's have a look at the first competence, governance. You'll see at the bottom of this page, space to enter your self-assessment score. And you'll do this for both skills and experience and for knowledge on the scale between naught and four that we previously talked about. You'll then fill in your competence statement. You have a maximum of 500 words to provide evidence of how you meet this competence. Here's an example of an effective competence statement. The individual has written about projects that they've personally contributed to. You'll notice the use of I highlighted in red. Next, we'll evidence our references. There's a table to do this. You can provide up to two pieces of evidence per competence. You'll need to ensure that the name and reference appears at the top of each document. Again, here's an example of effective referencing. The assessor will be able to quickly trace which piece of evidence relates to the competence and the statement that you've made. Section three is about your development plan. You'll have noticed skill gap, skills gaps and areas for development, and this is your chance to specify how you'll go about filling those gaps and addressing those needs. Again, here's an example of an effective development plan. This individual has provided four areas for development. They're specific and time bound. It's important to include time scales in your development plan. Next steps, complete the application form and send it to applications at the cqi.org. From there, the new member team will pick up offering advice and guidance where needed. We look forward to receiving your application form.